Okay, so here's one of the weird things. Uh, one of the things that can make Cubase seem a little bit intimidating is just uh, it looks it looks pretty complex. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is you're seeing the same thing repeated in multiple places. So we've got a fader here, that same thing as this. See how they all move. And then we've got a pan control. You can see how they all move. Inserts is a little bit different in this lower zone. We have we can only do we've, we've got three choices. We've got faders and meters. We've got inserts and we've got sends. If you want all of that at the same time, you're gonna have to open up the actual mixer window. And then you can, um, I think you have to actually set it to have everything visible at the same time. I don't use the actual mixer window very often at all. I normally use this uh, lower zone. Um, but yeah, this extra thing in Cubase 13, before this came about, it was a little bit annoying for me because if I wanted everything in one spot, I had to open this pop-up window that was then a little bit annoying. So this is really handy, but it can also be annoying because I don't always want to deal with a, a floating window. So the fact that they added this on Cubase 13 made it to where I can now see pretty much everything I need to see without opening that extra window or going to the mixer. I put the intro at the end to make it easier to skip. You're welcome. Subscribe if you'd like more stuff like this. This video series is brought to you by my friends on Patreon. If you want to learn more stuff about Cubase, but you're tired of trying to piece together information from random videos with no context to connect them, you may want to check out this playlist that walks you through an entire project from start to finish. This one. This one here. That's right. You got to click on it, though.